Panitumumab is a recombinant humanized monoclonal antibody used to treat EGFR-expressing metastatic colorectal carcinoma that is refractory to fluoropyrimidine dash, oxaliplatin dash, and irinotecan, containing chemotherapy regimens. In this video, let's find found. What is panitumumab? What class of drug is panitumumab? What is panitumumab used to treat? Who cannot use panitumumab? What are the side effects of taking panitumumab? How does panitumumab make you feel? How to use panitumumab? What is panitumumab? What class of drug is panitumumab? Panitumumab, sold under the brand name Vectabix, is a fully human monoclonal antibody specific to the epidermal growth factor receptor. Panitumumab is manufactured by Amgen and was originally developed by Abgenix, Inc. In 2014, Amgen and Illumina entered into an agreement to develop a companion diagnostic to accompany panitumumab. What is panitumumab used to treat? For the treatment of EGFR-expressing metastatic colorectal carcinoma that is refractory to fluoropyrimidine dash, oxaliplatin dash, and irinotecan, containing chemotherapy regimens. Who cannot use panitumumab? Panitumumab does not work in patients who have KRAS or NRAS mutations. What are the side effects of taking panitumumab? Adverse effects of panitumumab, Vectabix, by frequency. Allergic reactions, like skin rash, itching, or hives, swelling of the face, lips, or tongue. Breathing problems. Changes in vision. Eye pain. Fast, irregular heartbeat. Fever, chills, mouth sores, red spots on the skin, pharmacodynamics. Panitumumab is a recombinant, human IgG2 kappa monoclonal antibody that binds specifically to the human epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR. EGFR is a transmembrane glycoprotein that belongs to the subfamily of type I receptor tyrosine kinases. EGFR is expressed in normal cells, the overexpression of EGFR is detected in many human cancers, including those of the colon and rectum. Interaction of EGFR with its normal ligands causes phosphorylation and activation of a series of intracellular proteins that will in turn regulate the transcription of genes involved with cell growth and survival, motility, and proliferation. Signal transduction through EGFR leads to the activation of the wild-type KRAS gene, but the presence of an activating somatic mutation of the KRAS gene within a cancer cell can result in the dysregulation of signaling pathways and resistance to EGFR inhibitor therapy. How does panitumumab work? Panitumumab binds specifically to EGFR on both normal and tumor cells and competitively inhibits the binding of ligands for EGFR. Non-clinical studies show that binding of panitumumab to the EGFR prevents ligand-induced receptor autophosphorylation and activation of receptor-associated kinases, resulting in inhibition of cell growth, induction of apoptosis, decreased pro-inflammatory cytokine and vascular growth factor production, and internalization of the EGFR. Half-life 7.5 days, range, 4 to 11 days, how to use panitumumab. Metastatic colorectal cancer wild type RAS. Indication. Indicated for both KRAS and NRAS as determined by an FDA approved test for this use, for example, next generation sequencing, NGS, kit. Combination therapy, with Falfox, as first line treatment. Monotherapy, following disease progression after prior treatment with fluoropyrimidine dash, oxaliplatin dash, and irinotecan containing chemotherapy. Dose. 6 mg per kilogram for infusion over 60 minutes, over 90 minutes if dose 1G, Q14 days. Are there specific concerns about panitumumab and pregnancy? Human IgG is known to cross the placental barrier, therefore panitumumab may be transmitted from the mother to the developing fetus. Women of reproductive potential should be advised to avoid becoming pregnant. That's all the information about panitumumab we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.